Hello, my name is Roshana. I've been the registered nurse caring for Jonas since he arrived at our facility. You must be Jonas's mom and grandma. We're glad that you are able to get a flight to be with Jonas. We can go into the room to see him, but I just want to let you know what to expect when we enter. Jonas is still not responding to us, but he's on high doses of pain medications and sedatives. We've cleansed his burn areas, put some medical medicated ointment on them, and we will be putting dressing on the burn areas. Jonas cannot talk to you, but you can talk to him. He has IVs hanging, a tube in his mouth to keep his airway open, and a ventilator or breathing machine to help him breathe. Are you ready to go in and see him now? I'm terrified, but I, but I do want to be with him. Okay, I can explain about the machines and tubes when we get in there, so you will know what we are doing for Jonas. You have to know about all those machines for we're not taking care of them, you are. Mom, please, let the nurse do her job. Oh my god, I didn't know his burns were this bad. He looks awful. Are you sure this is my Jonas? I mean, it doesn't even look like him. We should be more careful with the house. I can't, I can't believe this happened. I told you guys not to be living in a trailer house. They're fire traps. Mom, please. Well, I did. I want you to know everything that we're doing and why. I think keeping you well informed will be helpful. As for Jonas' condition, he's been stable as far as his vital signs, and that's a good thing. He's also making a good amount of pee, which is also a good thing. He has a tube in his bladder, so we can keep track of that. He has several IVs. Some are to give him much needed fluids. Others are for pain medication and sedation. If any of us here do anything that you have questions about, please let us know. We want to answer any of your questions. Do you have any questions that you would like to talk about now? Jonas is my only patient, so I'll have plenty of time to talk with you. This ends the scenario. So now, nursing students, the rest is up to you. Take the information that you have seen and proceed with the case study. And remember, leave no stone unturned and have fun with the assignment.